Welcome back to Marketing Champions on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Mike White, and on Marketing Champions, we meet with the experts in the industry that are giving us the tips, tricks, and trends, and everything they're doing to help businesses grow. Join us today, we have Howard Walpoff from Profit Master Business Solutions. Howard, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mike, nice to be here. So uh, not only are you an expert, I see you all over LinkedIn, I see you online, you are taking all of your marketing experience and you are helping others develop plans and strategies to help their customers. So tell us a little bit about your company. Well, I work with small business owners who really are the backbone of this country and I find ways to increase their lead sales and revenue and show them how they can find uh, $100,000 or more hidden in their business in recurring annual revenue without spending additional dollar on marketing or advertising. So how is it so easy? <laughs> well, it, in some ways it's easy because unfortunately a lot of small business owners never were fully trained to be a small business owner. So there's a lot of little things that they're doing that they started off with that are not uh, allowing them to see ways to generate revenue from their business. So some of it starts off with just little tweaks that really go a long way. Some of it is, is a different way that they address their uh, prospects through their website and how they communicate through their website. And as I'm learning more about them and their needs, then I'm able to come up with the right strategies to then increase the different ways they can generate revenue and really find that, that, that sweet spot of, of them enjoying their business a lot more than they have been. What's the biggest mistake that you see business owners make time and time again when it comes to managing their own marketing? I think you just said it right there. Unfortunately, it's, it's managing their own marketing. Uh, there are a lot of things that business owners are really good at. If they, it's a plumbing business, they came into it because they want to be the best plumber that there is and they have all this training and they utilize it to help their, uh, their customers. But they weren't trained to be a marketer and at times you really need to find the right person to work with you on what your message is, get that message out, get it to resonate with an audience and get the response you need so that customer base can keep on growing and you don't have to worry about those pieces of the business not functioning properly. What's the biggest change that you see coming up over the next uh, 24 months in the way companies market their products and services? There are 24 months, everything goes through different cycles and how uh, people are, are utilizing things, how people are utilizing social media, how people are utilizing their own website. Uh, video has always been a very big uh, differentiator of those that are really communicating well with their clients and those who aren't. So increasing the way you do video is always going to be a very big uh, opportunity for companies that are not doing it or that are doing it to increase it a little bit more in different ways they uh, connect with people. But it's really finding those connections. I think there you have to keep your eyes open to find out what your audience is, re what resonates with them. That really is the key. It's not as much as what you want to be implementing into your marketing. It's what your research shows that your audience wants to see and how you can get it to them. So the type of customer that Profit Masters works with, uh, who's an ideal company for you? Ideal company really is the small business owner who's been working for too long and too hard who's not seen all the efforts of their business and their results. So those that really are finding things challenging, whether it's COVID related or not COVID related, because there's a lot of issues that people are having with their business now in COVID that really were occurring, but they weren't seeing it under the, uh, 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 under the, the, the level of the, of the business. But um, there are people who need answers. The, the, those that really have, have hit a wall with their business and making it grow, uh, those are the people that really enjoy showing how to get over that wall and, uh, and find the results that they've always been looking for. Who inspires you, uh, Howard, and, uh, and what did they do or what do they do to inspire you? I'm always inspired by the, the, the person who, who has an idea and ran with it and developed it into something, uh, whether it is a small business owner, whether it's people in my community that have uh, grown an idea that, that really helps the community and revenue is coming in so that, uh, that, that whether it's children or families are, are, are benefiting from what the, this concept was. Uh, it, it's always the person who sees a vision and finds the way, no matter what's in their way, to get to, uh, to, to have that come to fruition. 
Well, as a profit master, um, tell me the future of the business card. Are businesses going to need a business card to be profitable in the future? That's an excellent question because uh, in the, these this last 18 months of Zoom and video, people have been handing out business cards. So it's it's I, I kind of feel for the printing companies that, uh, that have lost revenue from that. Um, I, I've seen some really amazing things that people are doing with uh, their own little websites and trees online that you just send one link to someone and all the information is there. I think those are going to grow. Um, I, I'm seeing uh, something with a with a, a metal card with a with a with a uh, computer chip in it that hits if people's phones and gets the information in there. I think that physical card may not have the value moving forward that it did, but there are ways to get your information into the resources that people are using on a daily basis so that they can uh, the, be in contact with you. And, and I'm always a proponent of LinkedIn being your digital business card from day one. Connecting people on LinkedIn and communicating with them is always extremely important. Well, Howard, thank you as always for your time today. We appreciate you sharing your insights. Mike, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. To find out how Howard can help your business find its full potential, visit us at dailyadbrief.com. We'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.